welcome. Let's look at the histology of the epididymis. We have done a lecture on the anatomy of the epididymis. You can go and check that up to upgrade your knowledge. But for the purpose of this lecture, we'll be focusing strictly on the histology of the epididymis. When the epididymis is extracted and processed into histological section, this is the kind of presentation that we'll be seeing. If you look at it, you see rounded arrangements and this represent the tubular foldings of the epididymis. For the layers of the epididymis, layers of the epididymis is made up of the epithelium. The epithelium is the innermost layer, and this is the layer that forms contact with the lumen. This is the central lumen of the epididymis. And this is the epithelium lining. The second layer where the epithelium lies over is the lamina propria. The lamina propria is a thin, layer which creates a platform onto which the epithelium stands and this is the lamina proper and more external we have the smooth muscle layer this is the smooth muscle layer on the outside if we look through this handmade diagram below we we'll see the presentation that is carved out we have the epithelium lining which forms contact with the lumen and this is the central lumen so this is the epithelium lining around the central lumen. Then we have the second layer, the lamina propria. This is the lamina propria highlighted in green, which is seen lining below the epithelium. Then more external, we have the smooth muscle layer. And this is the smooth muscle layer on the outside. So we we'll take these layers one after the other to see what their structures are. For the epithelium, we did the epithelium of the epididymis. We have the two major types of cells. We have the principal cell, which is the main type of cell that is responsible for the secretion and the reabsorption of fluid. If you go through our lecture on the epididymis, you see that within the epididymis, apart from it acting as a storage medium, it's also responsible for functional maturation of the sperm. And this is affected as a result of the secretion and the absorption of fluid that is done within the epididymis. And these cells are solely responsible for that. And the second types of cell are the basal cells, which of course from the name basal means that they are seen close to the basement membrane. These cells do not present any form of secretory property so these are the two major types of cells that we have in the epididymis. We also have some other type of cells that are region-based, as we have also described that the epididymis is made up of the head, the body, and the tail. So these cells are specifically located in specific regions of the epididymis, and this includes the epical cells and also the clear cells. But as we go through with this lecture, we see the different regions of the epididymis where these cells are located. So let's take the principal cell first. We said that the principal cell is the major secretory cell of the epididymis. They are seen as a pseudocolumnar type of epithelium. Highlighting the principal cell in the handmade diagram, this is the principal cell. This has Subdocolumnar type of cell with their free surfaces are seen with sterocilia. So, this is the sterocilia highlighted in red. You can see it directed towards the lumen of the epididymis so that the secret is emptied into the lumen. Within the epithelium lining the epididymis, the principal cell takes like the bulk of the cells. It takes about 90% of the cells that are seen within the lining of the epididymis. They are pseudocolumnar epithelium, but they are free surfaces seen with sterocilia with a high capacity to secrete and also reabsorb fluid. And this is the principal cell, which are basically pseudocolumnar type of epithelium, whose free surface are seen with elongated microvilli, which is referred to as sterocilia. Sterocilia within the head region appears to be longer than what is seen in the other part of the epididymis. And this is the sterocilia. You can see the sterocilia are pushed towards the lumen of the epididymis. And the functions that the sterocilia perform include that they help to reabsorb fluid and they also help to secrete fluid into the lumen. As the sperm is produced in the seminiferous tubules and also fluid is secreted 
a lot of fluid secreted is, is just in a way to help push the sperm forward by enhancing its movement because at that stage they do not have the capacity to move so the increase in the secretion of fluid in the region before the epididymis is to increase their motility so when they get to the epididymal region there's going to be reabsorption of this fluid since in this region the sperm will be able to attain or assume its motility so the fluid are therefore reabsorbed back. And there's also the secretion of substances, which include salic acid, glycoproteins, and so on. And these substances help to enhance the functional maturation of the sperm cell. The second type of cell that is seen within the epithelium lining the epididymis is the basal cell. From the name basal cells, these cells are located around the basement membrane and they are seen around this region. This is where they are located. These cells are cuboidal type of cells and they do not extend towards the lumen. So they are just limited to the basal region. This is another basal cell. They are just limited to this region. They are not like the principal cell that tends to extend through directed towards the lumen. These are limited to this region. Also, showing the basal cell in the handmade diagram, this is the basal cell. We say that they are simple cuboidal type of cell. And as we see them presented in this image, they do not extend towards the lumen. They are just limited to the basal region of the epithelium. And these cells are believed to be the precursor of the principal cells. The other types of cells you see within the epithelium are the intraepithelial microphages. These are embedded within the epithelium of the epididymis. And this is the intraepithelial microphage. This is one of them. You see them within the epithelium. They're embedded within the epithelium. And what they do is phagocytosis of defective spermatozoa. So when they see that there are spermatozoa, that are not fit to move through the ductile system, these cells are going to engulf them and digest them. The another type of cell that we see are the epical cells. These cells are restricted to the edge region of the epididymis, and this is the epical cell seen in this region. These epical cells are rich in mitochondrial. Then we also have the clear cell. The clear cell are limited to the tail region of the epididymis. Other structures that we see within the histological section of the epididymis include the smooth muscle. So after the epithelium lining, we know that the next structure that we see is a very thin laminar proper, and this will be followed by a smooth muscular layer. And this is the smooth muscular layer. This smooth muscle tends to increase as they go down the epididymis. So they tend to increase as they go down. In the tail region of the epididymis, they are increased so as to enhance peristaltic movement so that the sperm can be pushed out of the epididymis to enter into the vas deferens, then continue further in their journey. Then the other structure that we have is the lumen. This is at the central part of the epididymis. This is the center core of the epididymis. And within this region, what we see are clusters of sperm cells and also in the handmade diagram, the smooth muscle fibers are seen covering the entire surface on the outside of the epididymis. And this is where they are located. We said that the thickness tend to increase from the head down to the tail. And the reason is to enhance peristaltic movement so that the sperm within its lumen will be pushed into the epididymis. It's just to add more momentum around that space so as to create the force that will help to push it down the tract. This is the lumen. The, the lumen, we have the stereocilia directed towards the lumen. And also within the lumen, we have matozoa, which are ready to be moved down the ductile system. Thanks for watching this video. Let's meet again.